A question that commonly comes up when looking at Google Analytics data is what is a landing page and what does that mean in your Google Analytics dashboard? So I wanted to explain very quickly um, just a couple things to look at when you're looking at landing page data. So again, I'm on the um, Google Analytics dashboard here. <laughs> and if you have a question on um, how to get to that, I can uh, obviously make a video to um, explain that. but. One thing that I want to point out is you just come down on the side here, go to the behavior section here, and then go to site content, and then click on landing pages. And then when you're on this page, this is um, shows you the top pages on your website that are landing pages. I always like to go at least look at a couple months on the date range. So here I have it set up from, uh, let's go back to January um, to today. So for example, um, this will now show me down at the bottom here. I don't know how well you can see this, um, but it will actually show the uh, pages on the site that are most visited. So if there is a just a um, slash, what that means is the home page. This uh, question mark keyword dentist is actually the home page again, but it's when people were searching um, Google with the keyword dentist. So right off the bat, most likely what you're going to find is your home page is the um, highest visited landing page. And as you can see here, if you combine the one and two, which are both home pages, almost 74, I guess 75% of the people visiting Paradigm um, are coming in through the home page. The next thing to look at with that um, is, and that's that's expected, that's normal, but I always encourage people to look at the bounce rate on that landing page. And in paradigm situation, um, with the, they're getting, they have 75% of the traffic is coming in through their homepage, and they only have a 40% bounce rate. So that's a very good bounce rate for a dentist. Um, that means that um, over six, uh, you know, six out of 10 people that visit the website are continuing to look around and go look at other pages. Um, and then the other thing to note is when they go to the home page first, on average, they're viewing an average of almost three pages in their session, um, and they're on the site for almost two minutes and 28 seconds. So that's a very, these statistics right here for the home page are very, very good. Uh, the next thing uh, that I always think is important, if you look at contact, um, which is the most visited landing page second to the home page, uh, there's only 3% of visitors are coming to the contact page first. Um, but it's, it, I guess the, the thing that's interesting here is you have a 71% bounce rate on this. I don't know if that's necessarily cause for concern for me because potentially they visited the contact page, they got the phone number that they were looking for or the email address, or maybe they're just looking for the address itself and that was all that they needed. So having a high bounce rate on your uh, your contact or about page may not be cause for concern, but it is interesting to look at the different ways that people are coming into your website. And again, for this one, the home page is number one, contact is number two, and then um, looking at Dr. Rust's profile is number three, and then the about page, which is more information on the practice, is the the uh, fourth one on there so again when talking about landing pages um, i just think it's interesting to at least be aware i don't necessarily know if you could look at information just landing page information and make any decisions on that but it's it's at least helpful in my opinion to give you a sense of what people what pages people are going to and what pages are most visited and then asking yourself does do, do those pages have the information that you want them to have when someone visits them first so that's what a landing page is that's how you look at information on um, a landing page and hopefully draw some more insights from that when you're applying that to how you should update your website and whatnot